Slylanders presents the Skylanders, the Acrobats. Hey guys, here I am again presenting you another idea presented by Slylanders featuring the Acrobats. The idea of this is that these guys are trained and talented athletic people who go around Skylands climbing ledges, swinging on ropes, anything that you might think that an agile person could do to escape treacherous feats. We'll start from the top left to the bottom right in each order of what I've put down here. Here are Tongue Twister, a chameleon with light blue tattoos, and Laser Blair, a cyan-skinned elf, Tongue Twister, if you can guess the name that I've given him, he uses his tongue to attack and like whirls it around like a twister. And Laser Blair is from a race of like elves who use special technology, like the gun she uses. Here are Mineral, an Earth Golem, and Peak Climber, a Fawn. Mineral, despite his appearance, he is very able to do things like agile people do, and he uses this emerald hammer. Peak Climber is based on a fawn and a mountain goat because of how mountain goats are skillful climbers when walking on mountains. And this these are his uh, twin pickaxes, or picks, and this is the upgrade form, or weapon switch, whenever he upgrades himself. Here are the light uh, glimmer, as a human, and lucent shielder, a light elemental. Glimmer is based on the human comet, or the human cannonball, like in the circus you see. Our Lucent Shielder here is uh, outfitted with his arm blade and his shield. In the air element, we have Flutterbug, a butterfly, and Cloud Pouncer, a snow leopard. Flutterbug could fly around, and she kicks with her boots. Cloud Pouncer has this uh, staff, which was was a crutch, but he had uh, made it taller. And I think he can be based on two different leopards, both the snow and the clouded leopard. In the fire element, we have Asphalt, a fire devil, and Charcoal, a red fox. Asphalt is based on the same species as Spitfire, as these are they're both cousins. He has a more lizard appearance. Is the blue hot rod armor. And Charcoal here is possibly the leader of the acrobats. He's like based on a conductor. And he has a backpack full of coal and he's also holding one. In the water element we have Wave Surfer, possibly Atlantean, and Paddler, a sea otter. When I've made Wave Surfer, he was a, a little bit Gilman in design. So he's a more humanoid now, and he rides on a surfboard. And Paddler, you see he's like he's got the dark gray pants. I had whiskers on him, but they looked a little too much. And he uses this giant shovel. In the undead element, we have Dread Sketch, a human and Rope Strand, a Tarantula Spider. Dread Sketch is an assassin who uses these two throwing stars. They are, they're supposed to have holes in the middle. And Rope Strand is like another character with four arms that he uses to sling webs and make traps, web traps. In the tech element, we have Cyber Chaser, 
a human wearing cybernetic armor, and Jimpanzee, a chimpanzee. Cyber Chaser has a uh, thing like Mega Man X, where she believes there's more to peace than fighting. And chimpanzee is like works out in the gym, and uh, he has this rod cane thing. And here are Leapfrogger, a red-eyed tree frog, and Vine Hacker, a plant being. Leapfrogger, oops, hops around on his legs, does what a tree frog does, and Vine Hacker has the staff, and a armor with an acorn helmet. And I only have one here, the Dark Elemental character, uh, Kong Fu. He's based on a spider monkey, but he has thumbs as... Fun fact, real spider monkeys do not have thumbs. And this is his, uh, staff. Another character goes with him, Blank Stare. But this is all I have for now. What do you think so far? You like the idea about agile characters? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time. This is Slylanders, signing off.